motion, distance, and displacement, speed and velocity, uniform motion, uniformly accelerated motion, acceleration and deceleration, free fall, and projectile motion. Motion, is the change in position of a body with time. Here is a ball with no motion, and another ball in motion. Motion can be described in terms of the distance moved, or the displacement. Distance, is the length of the actual path traveled by a body. While displacement, is the length of the shortest path traveled by a body, from its initial position, to its final position. Let's say a person travels 70 meters east. then turns back travels 20 meters west. The total travel distance is 70 meters, plus 20 meters. Therefore, it's 90 meters. While the displacement, is 50 meters going east. Here's another one. You drive the red path, and your car odometer goes up by 8 miles, this is your distance. Your displacement, however, is the shorter directed distance, from start, to stop. If a body travels equal distances in equal intervals of time, it is said to be in uniform motion. In here, the car travels 20 meters for every second. This is uniform motion. If a body travels on equal distances, in equal intervals of time, it is said to be in non-uniform motion. In here, the car travels 20 meters for the first, then 30, then 20, 15, and then 15 meters in the last. This is non-uniform motion. The speed of a body is the distance traveled by the body in unit time. The SI unit of speed is meter per second. Since speed is only magnitude it is a scalar quantity. For example, a ball rolled a distance of 20 meters for 5 seconds. The speed would be calculated as 20 divided by 5, which equals to a speed of 4 meters per second. Average speed, is the ratio of the total distance traveled, to the total time taken. The GPS system in your car, or phone, can show your average speed as you travel. For example, a car driver travels at constant speed, for 100 meters in 5 seconds. His average speed is computed as 100 divided by 5. Thus, his average speed is 20 meters per second. Next, when the car driver travels at different speeds, for 100 meters in 5 seconds. His average speed is still computed as 100 divided by 5. Thus, his average speed is also 20 meters per second. Instantaneous speed, is the speed of a body, at a particular moment in time. At a given instant time, what we read from the car speedometer, is instantaneous speed. The rate of motion of a body is more meaningful, if we specify its direction of motion along with speed. 
the quantity which specifies both the direction of motion, and speed, is velocity. The velocity of a body, is the displacement of the body, per unit time. Velocity can be changed by changing speed, or direction, or both. Since velocity has both magnitude, and direction, it is a vector quantity. When a car turns around a curve, it is changing both in its speed, in here, it is slowing down, and in direction, in this case from going north to going west. During uniform motion of a body in a straight line, the velocity remains constant with time. In this case, the change in velocity at any time interval is zero, meaning there is no change in velocity. During non-uniform motion, the velocity changes with time. Thus, the change in velocity at any time interval is not zero. It may be positive, or negative. The quantity which specifies changes in velocity, is acceleration. Acceleration, is the change in velocity of a body per unit time, or the rate of change of velocity. Thus, acceleration is equal to the difference between final velocity, and initial velocity, then divided by time. Then the unit is meters per second squared. If the change in velocity is equal, in equal intervals of time, it is uniform acceleration. If the change in velocity is unequal, in equal intervals of time, it is non-uniform acceleration. An example of uniformly accelerated motion, is free fall motion. Free fall, is any motion of a body, where gravity is the only force acting upon it. Earth's gravity provides a constant or uniform acceleration. Its magnitude is 9.8 meters per second squared. The direction is always downward, thus, it has a negative sign. Projectile motion is a motion of an object thrown, or projected into the air, and subject to only the acceleration of gravity. The object is called a projectile, and its curved path is called its trajectory. When a bullet is fired horizontally, it is pulled downwards by the force of gravity. Thus, the bullet takes a curved path, and hits the wall at a slightly lower mark. When a bullet is fired towards the sky at an angle, it is also pulled back downwards by the force of gravity. In this case, the bullet reaches a peak, then goes back down while following a curved path trajectory.